Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, the fabric sculptures and cloth dolls you see sitting behind me. I created these dolls myself. And as I was sewing them, child, they would not stop talking to me. And this inspired my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series. And so far, I have book one, two, and three. The Jungle Beauty Goddess book series is a sizzling, hot, spicy, juicy story about human evolution and the current condition of humanity. It is for adults only. My Jungle Beauty Goddess book series inspired my Jungle Beauty Goddess Oracle deck, which is based off of the personalities and characteristics of my Jungle Beauty Goddess fabric sculptures. If you are interested in making a cloth doll child, I have a plethora of free tutorials on doll making on my channel. All you need to do is click the button here. If you enjoy information about chakras, gemstones, oils, um, metaphysical knowledge, ancient wisdom, magic, welcome home darling. This is the channel where we embrace the weird and the wonderful. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a quick homemade face mask for yourself and your loved ones. This mask is um, not, it doesn't have the same level of protection as the medical mask, but something beats nothing. And one of the primary um, things that this mask will help you do is maybe like if you have a habit of touching your mouth or touching your nose you know you, you'll have that area covered if you cough or sneeze this will protect you, you or prevent you from spreading anything to other people and it will also protect you if you touch something and you accidentally or forget and touch your face or touch your you know, your mouth or your nose I am using a pattern that is pretty simple um, I made one already and I wanted a little bit more length here, but some angel child created this free pattern and I actually put the link in my description box. So if you're interested, you can just click on it. And this is a pretty good pattern. It's pretty much this pattern, except I think I just tweaked it a little bit because I wanted a little bit more space here. And that was about it. Um, you can sew this by hand. You can use a sewing machine. Don't overthink it. Don't stress yourself out. I'm using felt. I am using two, um, what do you call these, fabric squares. These are less than a dollar. Sometimes you can get four for a dollar at Walmart. These are some lace that I found on clearance. I just had lying around the house. Or you can use this elastic around the ear, which it may be a little bit easier. But even if you have ribbons or even if you have to cut the fabric and just, you know, tie it behind your ear, child, let's not, you know, make this too complicated or overthink it so we have the scissors we have the wire and I'm also going to use one more layer and this is like some flannel that I have is very um, what you want to do is just remember that when germs travel they are very they're like little micro you know germs and so you want to weave as much as you can so that as little as possible can enter but also like I said this will prevent you from spreading and if you touch your nose or your mouth this will help as well so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with this video I feel like I'm back to my roots child but anyway we're gonna go ahead and get started and I'm gonna show you a quick way to make a mask for your a face mask for your for you or your loved ones thank you so much for watching so I am taking the fabric quarter and I'm folding it twice now if you want your face mask to be one color inside and outside you want to fold it twice so that's in the you know and you'll have two pieces for the front and two pieces for the inside if you want I mean I'm sorry you, you'll fold it twice if you want to have a different color on the inside then you just fold it once so you'll have just two pieces so remember if you want one color you'll have four pieces of the pattern and if you want um, yeah if you want 
different colors, you'll have two pieces of each color. I hope that makes sense. So I am cutting out the pattern. And guys, you don't have to do this perfectly. It's going to work and you're doing this for safety, you know, making this face math, uh, mask, I'm sorry. <clears throat> so don't worry about if it isn't perfect. And as a, you can sew it by hand, you don't need a sewing machine. Don't overthink it. Don't think it has to be perfect. I mean, I'm not selling these. If you're making them, you're making them, you know, from your heart to help your family. Like I said in the opening, I am making them because my sister-in-law works at a nursing home and they do not have enough masks for all of the staff. So they're at the point where they're saying even though the homemade masks do not um, have the same protection and you know something about this I think it's like an M95 or some so basically you know the virus is like a little entity a little life form it's really tiny and what you want to do is create a wall with fabric so that it is unable to enter into your nostrils and into your mouth which is where it you know it um, actually comes into our body so I'm using the piece of pattern now to make the pieces for the flannel so on the inside of my handmade face mask I have one layer of felt and I also have one layer layer of flannel now I know most people don't do it this way but I find that um, it really works and the way I tried it is I have a essential oil mist machine vapor like a list like a it gives off a mist and I use and I put essential oils in it because I really love like peppermint and you know different types of oils so when I layered my face mask with the two layers I was unable to smell the peppermint like like you know like it's just like it changed the way everything smelled like the air was completely clean coming in my nose right under my peppermint mist so I said okay this is good <laughs> now it's really thick so uh, it, it, but it's not uncomfortable it's very light for some people they may feel like this is so thick and the other thing about it is that it's washable so you can wash it and dry it because it's all fabric but anyway so I am um, making one for my daughter and for my sister-in-law you know for this particular color because I think I only have the one fabric what do you call it the fabric quarter of the pink so my daughter is like ma I really want pink so <laughs> um so anyway I'm, I'm having fun doing this now this whole little period that we're going through as a society is interesting to me because so now we have you know I'm sorry we'll get back to the story so I have the fabric quarter the fabric and then I have the felt I'm just showing you the pieces and I'm going to sew the curve together I'm placing them together actually I'm gonna place them good side to good side together and I'm gonna sew right around that curve and then I'm gonna do it also to the pink you know I'm gonna take the you know see how I have the pieces that's the flannel the hot pink and um, I'm going to sew it to the I don't know what the print the pink print and um, and then I'm going to sew all four of the pieces together back to the story so when I was a little girl my mom whenever it was raining or thundering really hard my mother would not allow us to talk we were you know we had to be quiet like we couldn't watch tv we couldn't talk on the phone so yeah again I'm just showing that I'm going to sew around the curve um my mother said you have to respect you know God's work when God is working when nature is working mother nature is working you should be quiet you should be still um and I don't know, I just remember as a little girl, like even to this day, whenever I see thunder and lightning or any type of bad weather, I always feel like I'm supposed to be still. And I feel like what is happening in a society right now is a period where we are supposed to be still um, because so now you see here, 
I'll get back to the story. I've sewn around the curve and now I'm going to place the two pieces together, good side to good side. I'm just kind of showing you, it's really nice and thick. And um, anyway, I feel like this is a time in our society where we are supposed to be still. Like, I don't know why, but I think that sometimes, you know, the best way for me to think of it is, you know how um, what, the butterfly goes through the stage where it's no longer a ca caterpillar and it's in the cocoon. And before, you know, when it's a cocoon stage, you can't see it. It's very, whatever is going on in the dark is very still. And then it immerse, emerges with its wings. I feel like, you know, or like when a mom, you, I just, I guess what I was going to say when a mom is pregnant, I just kind of feel like sometimes when we're still, some of the greatest changes are, changes are happening to an entity, to a being, to society, you know, just because we're asked to be still, it doesn't mean that things aren't changing. I'm sorry. So in the video, I have place the two pieces good side to good side I pinned them together and as you can see I now I've sewn it together and I'm going to flip it inside out it's like I said it's really nice and thick and it's a little it's a little difficult I could have left the hole um, wider but I didn't want to because I didn't want to sew that much um, so anyway I just feel that we you know be, you know when we're still I think there are, I mean, I don't know. I think there's, I think we're evolving when we're still. And I think sometimes when people, you know, some people are just like, oh, I don't, you know, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. And I can't sit still, I'm so bored, I have to do this. I don't know, I think, you, you know, you'll be surprised that maybe the people you need to connect with or contemplate your life or your dreams, or I don't know, I just, feel like this is just one of those times where we need to recalibrate as um, a human species on the planet our beliefs and be watchful listen to our intuition or, you know reach out to our loved ones be quiet eat healthy you know what I mean so anyway I have flipped the um, mask a handmade homemade mask and now I'm going to ladder stitch the top and the ladder stitch to me is whoever whoever created the ladder stitch I think they deserve like an Oscar a um, whatever whatever awards are available okay <laughs> it's the best thing I learned how to do since sliced bread I mean it's the best thing since sliced bread it's basically what you're going to do is take your needle and you're gonna go in at the top and you're gonna cross the street and go in at the top, go back across the street and go in at the top, go back across the street and go in at the top. And you're going to have this seamless, flawless, beautiful connection of fabric that is so wonderful. And I was like, God, who thought of this? It took me forever to learn because I taught myself how to sew in a lot of the, um, books you know for doll making because I was trying to figure out how to make things they would say do the ladder stitch I'm thinking what is the ladder stitch I don't even know what it is and so I watched a ton of YouTube videos and I still couldn't figure it out and then finally I found one person who put it in slow-mo and I was like I love you so anyway now I've ladder stitched the piece together and I am going to um, sew down the edges which is why I elongated the edges and guys you can put like the like I said the elastic in there or you can put like a cord or you can put um, ribbons don't don't be picky if you need this if you have to go to work or you, you're you know you're on the subway or you're around a lot of people you know something beats nothing so, but I'm using lace because I, you know, I thought my daughter might like something cute. And if it breaks, we can easily just put another string in there. And so I'm taking this, I think it's called a, a turner or a fabric turner or a loop turner or something. And I'm just placing the, the uh, lace on the inside. Now you can use a bobby pin. You can use a safety pin. Um, you can use, you know, I better, you can use like a, uh, what do you call a knitting needle just you just need something skinny 
to be able to place the lace or, or the elastic, whatever you use around. And there you go. So I, uh, before I tied it, I actually tried it on my daughter to make sure there would be a good fit. And it's really cute. It goes, um, it fits at the bottom of her chin all the way to the top of her nose. And guys, I forgot to put the wire in, but I didn't really want the wire. But what you would do is at the very top where the point is, you would take a piece of wire and just sew it up there so that you could squeeze it around your nose. Um, this is a pretty, I mean, it's heavy, it's sturdy, and um, it's a beautiful, it's really pretty. It's really, it really, like I said, it cleans the air. So now I'm going to go over with you some of the, um, yeah, and like I was saying before, you can use, you could use elastic if you don't, if you feel the lace is too flimsy, but either way, this is a nice piece. And now I'm going to go over some of the things that have, that I've been doing um, spiritually to help me and my family remain healthy. Another thing you can do for your health is make the ruin symbol of Uru's and it's like an N so let me just can you guys see let me see can I scoot this down a little bit go down like this so let's make it really this is a symbol of abundant health and ruin you, you burn it on a bay leaf so I'm just going to do this now I'm going to make it really nice and dark So this is the symbol of health. Our abundant health symbol on a bay leaf. And I actually got it off of a, a YouTube channel and it really works. I'm gonna leave the link for that YouTube channel in the bottom. And you wanna make sure that you burn it in something that's non-flammable. So I needed to get a bigger pot. <laughs> I wanna start a fire over here, Charles. So basically, I'm just asking for wealth, for health, an abundance of health for my family, for myself, and for everybody who's watching this video, and for everybody in the world who need health. I ask for an abundance of angels to send this health to everyone. So all you do is you go ahead and you burn it, and you might want to hold it. I got one more thing to get. So now what I'm going to do is use my tweezers and you hold this. Now guys, I typically do this over the sink. I'm not going to burn the whole thing because I, sometimes my fires are amazing. But I'm just going to show you how it works. See? And I just burn it again. I think it's really big though. I don't have my water near me so so basically safety first always and I'm just gonna burn the rest of this off camera over the sink and you just burn the entire bay leaf this is something you can do for health for yourself and your family another thing you can do to improve your immunity and just kind of keep yourself healthy is drink this get wellness tea which is, it's really good. It says, a chew. Let's face it, we live in a world of germs, but instead of letting them get you down, why not get defensive, child? Build immunity with a healthy diet and exercise work on banishing stress. And if you're really serious, add this pleasantly spicy, caffeine-free herbal blend to your wellness regimen. Um, anyway, guys, I drink this. It's super good. It includes... Um, I don't even know how to pronounce these words here. All I can tell you is that it's, it's kind of spicy and it's super delicious. And, um, you know, it's just something to add to your daily regime in terms of building your immunity. And another thing I take for health is black seed oil. Matter of fact, oh my God, I gotta order some more. It's almost empty. I actually saw, um, the black seed, someone was talking about black seed oil 
on a health channel about three years ago. And they said the only thing it doesn't cure is death itself. <laughs> that cracked me up. And I'm telling you, whenever I feel like my throat is ache, anytime, like I'm like, oh, is that an ache? Is that, whoa, am I getting something? I'll just go and take some more. Um, I like this brand. I'm quite sure they're all the same, but this is a really good brand. And uh, this is some good stuff. So this is another thing you can take to improve your health and keep your uh, immune system healthy. And I drink this tea. I can't even pronounce it. I call it my Jivala la la tea. Now read it. It says, let's see, herb of immortality. Did you see that? Herb of immortality. Now, I don't know about that, but I do know that um, I drink this every day in a strainer with my regular tea, and it is so delicious. It's really good. Um, I feel good when I drink it. So that's something else you can do. And I have one more thing. And if you don't do anything else, I have this book, okay? I feel like I'm telling you a, a secret, okay? I'm, I'm telling you... That I probably should have done a video for this book by itself. It's called the uh, the Angels of the Law of Attraction. It's a very short read. It's by Rose Manning. And let me see how many pages. It's like thirty pages, thirty-one pages. Guys, I get emotional. Honestly, the angels in this book have performed so many miracles for me and my family that I don't even know what to tell you. Uh, this book, I bought it off of Amazon. Matter of fact, I'm going to put the link for it in my description box. <sighs> Guys, these angels in this book, they do not play. You hear me? They do not play. I am so grateful. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know if this is appropriate, but I want to thank Great Angel Gabriel, Great Angel Raphael, Arniel, and I don't want to go through them all, only just because I want you to buy the book. But they, there are seven angels in this book who do amazing work. They, um, they have brought my family through some miracles. Okay, so guys, I totally, highly suggest this book, and um, I hope this video is, you know, I hope it was helpful, you know, making the mask, but also giving you some, you know, some other spiritual things that I do to try to keep myself and my family healthy. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.